awesome experience. That was my first time ever playing on the MCG. And we're playing for Collingwood, so that's a barrier for us, so that made it even bigger. It was awesome just to be able to go out there and um, play with the, with the best in, uh, in the Victorian state and try and, and show our stuff and then to kick a couple of goals and get the win was, um, it was awesome. Inside 50, Taylor has the sit and Taylor has the mark. An easier shot and a lovely finish for Curtis Taylor. That's his second. Play mostly forward and uh, a bit of pinch it in midfield and pretty impactful when I get the footy and I got the ability to hit the scoreboard and when I get one on one um, I'm pretty dangerous. Favourite footy memory, probably 2016 playing in senior premiership under Mick Rigon. That was something yeah, that I cherish. Yeah, it was pretty daunting. It was only my fourth game of senior footy. But yeah, I um, kicked a couple of goals and uh, felt like I held my own so it was a really good experience. Yeah, I think I always growing up where there was dad and coaches and I said you don't you, know, you want to get drafted you have to be able to be a good kick so that's something that's always been able to focus and even when you have shots on goal you get a chance to have a shot on goal like don't waste it the same difference when you get a chance to, to hit a target and uh, move it forward don't waste the footy. Curtis Taylor's best performance of the season came on the MCG the biggest stage of all he kicked three goals for Vic Metro against Vic Country in that win and since then, we saw him play a lot of footy up forward for the Calder Cannons. He can go in the midfield as well, but what he's good at is around goal. He's just dangerous, he's deaf with his kicking. He makes life pretty easy for players who are leading on him as well. So you want the ball in Curtis Taylor's hands. Pretty close with him. He's, you know, silky kind of, um, I guess, smooth mover across the ground. Can take a nice mark, kick some nice goals, and yeah, he's, he's a real good player. How about that? <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, so Shane Warne my uncle so I got to see him a fair bit. There's always been that connection and I remember days of being at their beach house and facing him and Mark Nichols in, in the cricket nets and on the tennis court so that was pretty awesome. I still remember that but yeah it was always pretty surreal. I got a um, bit of stuff of his at home and we out around so it's good. Oh, I got shorts and a couple of Rajasthan Royals singlets and yeah it's good. Oh, even so yeah I mean you can best mates from being at Pegs together and ever since we've I kind of went through it all with him last year, the ups and downs of it and he's been there pretty much nearly every step of the way with me this year so it's been really good. Seeing Cam being able to do what he does is kind of gives me a, a bit of hope and uh, a bit of faith even that he's moved into state. He's really enjoying that. Uh, obviously I'd love to I'd love to end up in Brisbane with Cam but yeah he's been uh, I think he's taken everything in his stride this year and he's um, played a really good year of footy and he's looking forward to, to getting into next year. At times I am actually, before I go to sleep, I'm thinking about like this could be um, reality, I could be on an AFL list. Um, it is yeah, really exciting. You do think at night when you're just in your own time, you're thinking, where am I going to go? If, if I do go, where is it? Um, but yeah, I think that's all part of the experience and um, yeah, it's good.